What's going on you guys? Theo here with the big review back yet again with another King of Fighters all-star video happy weekend to all of you fine people It is Saturday, so you all know what that means if you are not new here You know that it is the Saturday chat and chill where we pick a topic We sit down we kick back we relax and we discuss it for about 10 to 15 minutes But before we get into all of that if you are new here to the channel Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy daily King of Fighters all-star content because that's what we do here So this week's topic is going to be one that is very near and dear to my heart, one that affects every single person undoubtedly at some point in their video game career, whether it's this game or otherwise, and that is going to be burnout. Now, I have heard people talk about this quite a bit over the course of the past few months, and I wanted to go ahead and address it with some of the ways that I handle my own burnout, because believe it or not, even as your steadfast leader here on the channel, I too face this issue. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I've been hearing a lot lately and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that despite everything that's been going on in the background over at Netmarble with shifts in you know their dev teams and things going on with new games that they're launching so they're moving people around and so on and so forth being shorthanded it, they still have been managing to find a way to churn out new content at a pretty steady clip and most of the time whenever this happens anymore it is going to be limited time so whenever you are talking about limited time content especially with a gotcha game the biggest thing that comes up for people is typically going to be what you've heard referred to as FOMO well what is FOMO what does that stand for well basically it's an acronym that stands for the fear of missing out and basically it is whenever you are seeing for instance like we are dealing with right now with the boss syndrome characters you realize man these characters are really good but they're only going to be here for a few weeks. I can't really afford to not do this. I can't afford to not do that because I need those currencies or those items because I want to get those characters or those cards, blah, blah, blah. It can be any new content that they add in on a limited time basis, but the fear of missing out is how gotcha games, for lack of a better term, get you. And that tends to be what burns people out the most. It tends to be the biggest thorn in people's sides because it is by design, right? These games, they live and die on your engagement, you logging in every day, the amount of time you spend on the game, and hopefully on their end, they're thinking that will mean that you will spend money. Well, here is where the issue lies, and really this is something that if you're going to get into gotcha life in general, you have to learn very quickly. Take it from me, I have played probably, I would say at this point in my life, 10 to 15 different gotcha games, and a good handful of those I have played on a very serious basis. And what I will say about this is you need to learn to let go of certain things, right? So there are certain things that are going to come around, especially for you free-to-play players out there. If you are on that grind and you are a free-to-play player, you need to accept the fact that there are going to be certain things that you're going to need to just pass on. And that's okay, right? So it comes down to your priorities. There, You don't need every single piece of content that comes out. You know, there are going to be times where you will see something, it's the new shiny toy, it looks enticing, it looks exciting, you know, people are talking about it because, you know, if there's something new in the game, that's going to be the only thing people talk about for days on end. And that starts to get the hype going, and then you start to get that kind of FOMO boiling up, and you're like, okay, I need this stuff, but I don't have what I need. And then you end up getting yourself strung out, upset, blah, blah, blah. I've been there right i've been there many 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 times this is the easiest way to burn yourself out because it feels like you're on a treadmill that just never ends right there's going to be new content every couple weeks it's going to be something new and shiny and you're going to feel like you want it you need it and that's by design that's why they do it they want you to feel that way but you need to accept the fact that there are going to be times where content is going to come around and you're not going to be able to get it and that's okay like you don't need every single piece of new content at this point my recommendation to people and the way that i kind of operate with things like for instance even on the channel as a youtuber right my job is to cover this stuff my job is to get this stuff my job is to cover it 
there have been numerous times in the past several months that I've skipped things. I've skipped 90% of what has come out on the Unified banner, when by all rights, I probably should have been pulling for it. Even when I have as many tokens as I have for the Unified banner, I could easily get these things for free, right? I mean, tokens don't cost me money, so I could easily just go in, use the tokens, and get those things for what would equate to basically being free, and be able to bring you guys content. But even as somebody who doesn't mind spending a little bit of money on the game every now and again around these limited time events, I still do those things. Why do I do those things? Well, I do that because I realize that I don't need everything. You know, even if I am trying to run this channel, I accept the fact that there are going to be things I am going to have to skip in order to be able to keep up with future content. So when I see new characters or new things added into the game, and I look at them and I go, okay, that's something that I could easily get a couple of videos out of, or I could easily do, you know, a few things in-game like this, this, or this, I have to still assess whether or not it's important to my account and to my currencies because the currencies always come first in these games. You have to prioritize those first. You have to budget those first. And so the biggest thing that you have to realize is you don't need everything. You can easily skip certain things. It'll be okay. Save your rubies for things that you just know that you can't miss. Like, for instance, if you're a meta chaser, save it for the BS characters, save it for the SS characters. And if you're somebody who is just here to play King of Fighters because you love King of Fighters, which that's the reason why I'm here, I don't know about the rest of you, then go ahead and wait for the things that are your favorite characters. They're eventually going to happen. I've been waiting for a Fest King for, you know, since launch day. And I haven't missed a day of logging in yet. So it, it, it's one of those things where you just need to realize at a certain point that the fear of missing out is your real enemy when it comes to these games. And if you can learn to deal with that and let it go, then you're going to be in a better position overall. And you're going to feel so much better about these types of games. And for me personally, I get the... I get the burnout a ton, right? I play this game every single day. Like I just said, I've played this game and logged into this game every single day, done all of my dailies every single day since launch. That is going on almost three years now or something like that. I don't even know. Uh, maybe two years. I, I don't know. It's been a long time. At this point, this game is pretty much part of my daily life in a very, very big way. And it was that way even before I ran this channel. So... For me, I have those moments where I feel burnt out. You know, I work a full-time job on the side. I do this full-time because I have to do six videos a week, sometimes more, and I get it. I understand that. So the ways that I handle my own burnout that might be beneficial to you guys, there are certain days where all I do is my dailies. And there are certain things that I've pinpointed as major things for my burnout. So, for instance, Guild Raid. Guild Raid can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Now, recently, with getting Chrysalid, especially with mine being maxed out, you know, I haven't had as much of that with Guild Raid, thankfully, and I've talked about how he has been a major quality of life change for me and my account. And that has gotten better as a result. But Guild Raid is something where I got to the point, if you're somebody that feels like you just have to go in and put up the biggest numbers possible, put up perfect runs, and you're feeling burnt out, my advice to you is stop trying to do that. Just try to get by on the three keys, the four keys, if you're really, really logging in a lot. But three keys minimum. Try to just two key lunatic, one key expert if you're a vet or kind of an intermediate and if you're a beginner, just do what you can do, but don't beat your head against your phone or your keyboard or whatever it is you're using to play this game and get yourself strung out and burnt out because it's not worth it. You know, immortals are another one. Immortals can also feel that way. But if you're somebody that's feeling burnt out, just skip the immortal for a day or two or a week. Who cares? Yes, you're missing out on hammers. Yes, you might miss out on a stone here and there. But you know what? Is it worth you feeling burnt out, strung out, upset? No. You know, there's a lot of different things in this game that are very easy. I've pretty much timed it to where you can use skip tickets for most things at this point, on your dailies at least. So I've pretty much timed it. You can get through your dailies in about an hour, hour and a half tops throughout the day. Pace it out. Pace yourself. 
don't feel like you have to do it all at one time. You know, maybe you sit down for 20, 30 minutes, you know, in the morning. Maybe you're, you know, waking up in the morning and, you know, you got a few minutes to kill, you know, do a few things there. Or then later on during the day, do a few more things and just take it in chunks. That's sometimes another thing that I do. But there are certain ways that you can circumvent it and at least minimize the issues. And I think that the biggest thing is just pacing yourself and not feeling like you're beholden to every single thing. There have been weeks in my guilds where I have only done guild raid back before Chrysalid came out, obviously, because now it's just easy, like I've said, but there were weeks where I would only do guild raid maybe every other day at most because I just, I wasn't feeling like it. I was feeling burnt out. I was feeling, you know, overwhelmed. I had so much going on here with the channel or so on and so forth. So I would skip it. And that what I'm saying to you guys, it isn't just sequestered to these modes, but if there's a mode or a couple of modes or whatever that you just feel like is stressing you out, don't feel like you have to do it every day. You're not in competition with anyone. It isn't going to make or break you. It isn't worth the stress. At the end of the day, you're here to enjoy the game. You're here because you love the King of Fighters and you just want to have fun. And if something's making it unfun, take a break. That's my advice to you guys. Just try not to get too invested. Even as somebody who does this as a part-time job at this point, I'm telling you it isn't worth it. Just try to relax and have fun and remember why you're here in the first place. But that's some things I wanted to talk about this week, you guys. Let me know in the comments section how you tackle burnout, if you experience burnout. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope some of this helps. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you Monday. Peace. Continue.